Well, the city of Beloit is set to make waves this year as a Navy combat ship named after it will set sail for the first time. After months of preparation, the ship is almost ready to embark on its maiden voyage. Only on 27 News, Jarrell Ballard spoke with the first commander of the ship about what this would mean for the crew. Yeah, we are getting ready to bring a warship to life. USS Beloit is just a few short months away from setting out to sea for the first time in history. It's a privilege to be able to commission a warship. Uh, not everybody in the Navy gets an opportunity to do that. Commander Leandra Kissinger will serve as the first commander of the ship. She has visited the city of Beloit frequently to introduce her crew and immerse them in the culture the ship will be named after. Uh, we're working closely with the city of Beloit to work on our commissioning. Uh, we've had the crew here several times so that we have the opportunity to just spend time with the community and uh, basically learn the spirit of Beloit so that we can bring that to the warship. The city was selected to be honored for its contributions to the U.S. Navy, something the entire community is proud of. This community has had a long history of supporting our military through Fairbanks Morse Defense. Um, they make many of the engines that go in Navy ships and they had significant support of the military during World War II. City officials have been gearing up for the ship's departure this year with an anticipation of a significant turnout from the community. For us, you know, a town of under 37,000 people, to have our name on a Navy ship that's going to be um, known around the world is incredible. The pride is overwhelming and I feel like I've been very blessed to have the opportunity to be able to lead this particular group of sailors that represents this community. Reporting in Beloit, Jarrell Ballard, 27 News. The warship is currently located here in the Great Lakes. This week, the commander will look at a potential location for the departure ceremony along Lake Michigan.